and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys as Barca will be travelling to Victoria Pilsen in the Champions League but as we know our fate in this competition has already been decided and no doubt about it the pain of our early exit from the Champions League it hurts it really stings and that's not going to go away but what I thought we'd do today is discuss a range of topics pre-match I've got a different kind of video coming up for you today because we're going to be discussing the weekend which I think was a really good morale booster for Barca I think it restored just a little bit of pride which we really needed lots coming up on that we're also going to be talking about some injury news and indeed transfer news as well a few stories that I want to discuss with you guys and of course to the rotations that we could see in this game coming up against Pilsen as we look at several players who are in desperate need of game time they may finally get their chance. It is all coming up. Sit back, relax. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And let's do it. Because I think here, guys, standing on the eve of match day six in the Champions League, and with a game here that really doesn't mean anything to Barca, nothing left to play for, I think it's a good time to address exactly what we're feeling right now. Because like I say, we are gutted about our Champions League situation, and I really am. You know, every day I feel pain, frustration, you name it, we are feeling it right now. And like I say, that's not going to miraculously disappear overnight. But what I really do feel strongly about right now is that there is still a lot to fight for for Barca. Because I think here, when you're a Barcelona team and you're up directly against Real Madrid of all people, direct rivals for us in the league, that's a big deal. There's no two ways about that, guys. If we are up against Real Madrid, we want to beat them. We want to come out on top. And you add to that here, this is a Barcelona team that haven't won the league title for the past three seasons. That's long enough. We need to bring that back. We need to bring the trophy home. And that is why here, I do just want to put a little bit of attention and a bit of credit on Xavi's name for the start of the season in the league that we've had. Because if you are looking at Xavi's first 38 La Liga games as the Barcelona coach and you compare that to the first 38 games of Pep Guardiola it is astounding it is absolutely incredible here that side by side their records are identical and that is no mean feat at all from Chaffee there to match what Pep was able to do there in the 08-09 season. The results are completely aligned and I think not only that as well, but I think when you compare Chaffee's start to this season in comparison to what the coaches before him have done in the previous campaigns, you look there at Ernesto Valverde, of course very, very successful in the league. He had promising starts to the season, but still that was not on Chaffee's level. Could had 20 points and then 17 points last season. Now Chavi stands on 31 after 12 games so far. And that is not just about improvement, but that is serious improvement there. And it has been a consistent, solid start that I think even despite our Champions League exit, we can still appreciate that. And we have to still make sure we're behind the team. We're fighting with the team in La Liga. Because there's no doubt about it, they need and deserve our support. And indeed, guys, one of those players that we will all want to get behind and hopefully for many years to come. I want to talk here about Alejandro Balde, who for me is an absolutely extraordinary young talent. I think with every single game that you see this young man play, he just impresses you more. He leaves you at times in awe of what he's doing and of the way that he can run and just change speed and direction there out of the back line and on both sides. I think that speaks volumes about how good this man is. Because because we've seen Xavi already use him as that emergency right back several times. It's a position that before this season he never played in, but he's adapted. That's how good he is here. Just switch sides from left to right and still show his quality. Incredible inverted runs that he was showing there against Valencia. But the thing right now is that Balde's contract expires in the summer of 2024, which obviously is a decent enough time away, but he does reportedly have offers there from the Premier League already. That's not really a contract there that you'd want to run into the final year, for example. So the club right now are really targeting that renewal. That's what's coming out of the category 
Catalan media right now, Barca's next big priority in terms of renewals, it's Balde. They've been speaking there with his agents, which is George Mendes. That is a good thing. We have a very good relationship with Mendes there. The club have been speaking with him and they are very confident that they can get this renewal wrapped up nice and soon because it's imperative that we keep this young man here and we keep seeing him in this team because what he's doing it's incredible. Another transfer story, though, that I do want to address is none other than Franck Kessie, because there has been significant speculation there swirling around the future of this man. And this comes really after he's only started four games so far this season. He hasn't really been able to work his way into Xavi's plans to establish himself, really, in that midfield as of yet. And there have been some rumours this week, and there have been some rumours over the past week that Kessie could already be looking for for a way out of the club as soon as the January transfer window there, possibly even returning to Italy. And I think all of those rumours, all of those reports, they seem very premature indeed. Because now, Kessie's agent has immediately responded and addressed those rumours. He has shut them down. He said it's completely fake, completely false news. Kessie is very happy at Barca and in Barcelona. He's only been at the club for a few months and he's still in the process of adapting to the team and to Barcelona's style of play, which takes time. His agent said he will continue working to earn a place on the team. He's not a player that gives up easily and and he had other options in the summer, but he chose Barca. And Kessie is certainly one of those players that you are looking at here ahead of this Victoria Pilsen game. It's a massive opportunity for him. Surely now he's going to get some minutes. And when he does, he does need to take them. But before we start the talk about those rotations, just want to give a few words here on the injury latest when it comes to Jules Kunde and Eric Garcia. Both of those players, of course, were subbed off there with injury problems against Valencia, and neither of those players will travel to Pilsen for tomorrow's match. But for once, we have some positive injury news because... Apparently, it's just a precaution. Both of the players right now are recovering really well. It does seem to be just knocked for them both. Nothing serious at all. And we expect to see them back this weekend, ready for the game against Almeria. That is fantastic news. And I'm sure as well, a big, big relief for both of them ahead of the World Cup. And that is great there, especially Kunde, that he's going to be OK. But if we do indeed move on to talk about these rotations, because I asked you guys here ahead of the Pilsen, game, what would you like to see from Xavi? Would you like to see a little bit of rotation, you know, some rotation here and there, or would you like Xavi to go all out and seriously rotate this team? And all of you guys said, look, there's nothing really on the line. Why not see some good rotation? And that is what I think we have to see here, because when you're looking ahead here at November, we've got three games left there until the winter break for the World Cup. And I think if you rest some players now, what we can see then against Almeria and away at Osasuna is Barca full throttle. Save some players, rest them. We haven't been able to do that hardly at all over these past few weeks. And let's see some really good performances for one big final push before that international break. And that level of rotation appears to be exactly what Xavi has in mind there. Because Sergio Busquets is suspended in this game as much as Xavi may want to still play him. I'm sorry, but you can't. He's not going to be available. Robert Lewandowski has also been rested in this game. And as you can see right here, plenty of opportunities may be to come. Because there's a lot of Barcelona B players who have made their way into this squad list. Marc Casado there, Alvaro Sanz, also Valle there, and Elias Akomash making their way into Xavi's plans. And it is unfortunate there because the centre-back, Riyad, he is unable to play in the Champions League after he wasn't registered. So that's why there he is not in the squad list. But how many of those players could make their way now to the starting lineup? Well, I think starting in goal. It is about time here that we give some rest to Marc-Andre Tastegan, who has been brilliant so far this season, and put some trust in Iñaki Pena. Great chance here to give him some Champions League experience, give him some game time in goal for Barca. I think along the back line, there is still room there to add experience. You can play Jordi Alba at left back there, give Balde some rest in this game. Alonso and Pique perhaps then at centre-back. So plenty of experience there. And why not then? 
play Casado at right back. Now you could play Hector Bearing, but quite clearly, Xavi not really happy with Bearing's performance, especially the one against Bayern. So why not give a chance to Casado? It's an opportunity there without any pressure to go and show what he can do. I think in midfield, you've got to follow the same pattern. Frankie there could have a game at the base of our midfield just to add his experience in that position to get even more comfortable as we look to him to take over from Busquets. Kessie will get a chance in midfield. I'm absolutely sure about that. And alongside him, why not Pablo Torre? This is a marvellous chance here to give the midfielder some much needed minutes. He's been waiting, he's been patient, he's been training a lot with the team, but now give him some serious minutes and start him in a game like this. And then in the front line, I think Rafinha, he could really do with a start here. We haven't seen too much of him from the beginning of games recently. He came on against Valencia, provided the match-winning assist there for Lewandowski. Start Rafinha on the left. I think Ferran can take over down the middle from Robert Lewandowski and then on the left hand side let's give Ansu Fati some more minutes allow him to be more comfortable and try and sharpen up the finishing touch there in front of goal and I think for me guys that's a really exciting team, especially going forward there. Looking at that midfield, Frankie, Kessie, Pablo Torre, really exciting players. And then that front three, nice and flexible, very dynamic as well. And I would be excited to watch that. I think that team there is capable of scoring goals against Pilsen, winning this game for Barca. And although there is technically nothing on the line in this game in terms of qualification, we will still want to win it because in the Champions League group stage, just winning a match gets you 2.8 million euros. So Barca here will still want to win. We surely can win. There's no question about that. And let's try and finish here what has been a disappointing Champions League campaign with a bit of a flourish. Please let me know, guys, all of your predictions down below for the game. What players would you like to see Chaffee trying out? What players would you like to see getting some minutes out there tomorrow? Let me know those thoughts down below. Also, on everything else we have discussed in today's video, I will see you soon, of course, for all of the reaction after the game. And this is me here, signing off in October, 31 days, and with a video in every single one of them. I'm going for a lie down. I will see you soon. And thank you for your incredible support. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca.